Hey, my name is Dan and I've been traveling the globe for the last two years photographing this beautiful world that we live in. I've explored various types of photography on my journey, from capturing breathtaking landscapes to experimenting with creative light painting. Today, I'm super excited to share with you one of my favorite pictures I've ever taken. Luminar just released their new and glow feature, and with Halloween right around the corner, I reached out to my artist friends and we headed to the salt flats of Cappadocia where I snapped these two pictures. In these photos, I use a light on a drone to illuminate the subject, but you're left with this big empty space, so let me show you how I added the final touch and created the magical vibe I was looking for. All right, let's hop into Luminar. So after adding your photo that you want to edit into the catalog, you'll select it, we'll head into the edit tab, and the first thing I like to do, specifically because I really like these perfect geometrical lines, I'm gonna use the crop tool to help guide the glow that I want to add. So I'm gonna use this top line of the crop as a reference to where I'm gonna be adding the glow. So let's put it right here, hit enter. Then using the neon and glow feature, I'm going to click on the top right corner of the image and then holding shift, I'm going to click on the top left using this border as a guide for that light source that we're going to create, right? So now you have this perfect line which is parallel to the border of the image. We're in, to undo the crop, just bring it all the way back. And as you can see, it added this glow perfectly at the center giving you the perfect spacing on the left and on the right, and also making it perfectly parallel to the image itself. Now, let's play around with some of the settings. So we'll head into the edits here. And since the light I used was white to light up the picture itself, and I want this glow to represent the source of the light, I'm going to max out the whiteness here. And a feature that I really, really like is the atmosphere feature, I think it perfectly embodies what that light source would look like in real life if there was a little bit of dust or particles in the air. But I'm going to lessen the amount here. And honestly, from here, it's really just minor adjustments according to your personal preference and the way that you're using Neon Glow in your own photo. So for me, I don't want to exaggerate it too much. I'm going to just lessen a little bit here, maybe lessen the spread as well maybe increase the atmosphere just a little bit. And just like that, very easily and quite fun, honestly, you're able to add this magical uh, light source, which in a way looks very realistic and reflects what the image looks like. So something I do want to highlight is the sparkles capability within the neon and glow feature. So in this picture that I took, there were no stars. It was just a cloudy day. Um, so when we head here into the glow tab, uh, you see the sparkles down here. Now, what you want to first do is just increase the amount up top to give you that ability to refine the, uh, the object. Now, what it will do a lot of times is the AI will automatically select the subjects in the image. So what you'll do is you'll just hit refine object and you'll hit erase and you'll just erase the subjects and then you'll just draw on top of that glow that you already have. Once you do that, um, what I like to do is just increase that sparkles quite drastically just to kind of see the area that it's impacting, um, make sure I'm happy with it. And then for what I want in this picture is really just to add a very small little touch um, just so you can see some of those stars floating in the background because in reality that light source would be is so strong that you wouldn't really see those stars in the background, but you know, it just gives you a little faint, um, little touch, right? So I think that there are many different ways that you can use the sparkles feature. I think that there are many different ways that you can use the neon and glow feature as well. So I hope you guys liked the way that I used it here, and I hope that this could potentially act as an inspiration for you guys as well. So thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a great one.